What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is the first video from my dirtbagging channel. Uh, dirtbagging is kind of like it's an older term, and uh, you know, some people may say I'm not really living dirtbag lifestyle. That's cool. Um, I'm just kind of calling it that because it, I guess, it's a good keyword to use. It kind of gives people an idea of what I'm going for. Um, I'm basically living out of the truck right now. Um, not really looking to spend a lot of money trying to live on a really low budget. Um, you know, do things, get around, travel without spending basically as much money as I can afford to, uh, to save. Um, so anyway, intro. My name is Joshua. I'm 28, about to be 29 in six days. I just graduated uh, from college with a BA in biology. Don't want to use it right now. Um, I just don't really want to go clock in anywhere. I don't, you know, it's hard to imagine you got the entire world and you have one little tiny building that you go to five days a week, 40 hours a week, and you clock in every day. It's just really hard to fathom. Um, it's not for everybody. It's definitely not for me. Uh, some people do it, no problem. You know, thanks to them that I don't have to do it. Uh, anyway, my idea about traveling was I just really wanted to get out of the southeast um, and go see what was available, what was out there, what I like, don't like. Uh, you know, as far as the traveling goes, what I needed and don't need, what I can tolerate, can't tolerate, what I miss, what I can do without. Uh, that's kind of the idea of really, you know, learning about myself, learning about what I like uh, in the traveling sense. Um, so far, let's see, I left Georgia, went straight to the Grand Canyon, took me two days, two and a half days to get there. Uh, stayed in the Grand Canyon for two weeks, met some really cool people down there, some Ecuadorians. Um, I may try to go back and see them pretty soon. I think they go back to Ecuador on March 8th. Uh, from there, I went to Zion National Park for two days, did a little bit of rock climbing, met some really cool people. Uh, from there, I went to South Lake Tahoe for a week, stayed with some people. Uh, the, the way I'm staying with most of these people when I'm actually in their house is a website called couchsurfing.org. If you go to that website, you can search for a city and see people around who have a couch. You can just come crash on the couch. Um, Usually they're very like-minded people, you know, for travelers, um, very chill people. Uh, sometimes they cook for you, sometimes they don't, sometimes they show for you around, sometimes they don't really acknowledge that you're there, um, but you have a free place to stay. So it's, I wouldn't say it's hit or miss, I would say most of the time the people are really interested in getting to know you, um, you know, to see what you have to offer, what experiences and stories you have to offer to them and vice versa. Um, but let's see, from South Lake Tahoe, I went to, or actually, I, yeah, I'm staying in Greeley Hill, California, now, a really small town. Uh, my cousin went to Costa Rica for a month, and I ended up house sitting for them, uh, which is a pretty cool experience. Not much to do in Greeley Hill, but it's you know pretty close to a lot of other things. I'm actually in Fresno today. Um, and that's another thing that I realized that I miss is kind of a you know dose of the big city. I can come out here and, and just kind of strike up a conversation with people, and uh, you know tell them, hey, I'm from Georgia, and that, you know that starts the whole traveling thing. Like, what are you doing out here? And you know. What do you do for money and that whatever? Um, so for money, since I get that uh, you know that question a lot, uh, I do web design. And right now I have three clients. I'm bringing in about nine to eleven hundred dollars a month. Uh, keeps me afloat. Um, you know does does pretty well. Uh, I don't really I don't buy that much stuff. Most of my money goes towards food and gas. Um, I have bought a little bit of stuff. I actually bought. Um, this backpack I have on here, it's an Osprey Aether 60, 60 liter backpack, um, and then I bought this uh, 3 liter water water bladder today to go in it. Um, as far as gear goes, I pretty much have that. I've got a lot of rock climbing gear. I've got uh, Android, which this thing is super, super handy, man. It comes, uh, comes in handy all the time with weather. Uh, emails, I can check emails, you know, uh, text messages, all that stuff. Um, really helps a lot with the web design. Uh, but I sleep in my Xterra. Um, I got an 05 Nissan Xterra. And uh, this crash pad here is uh, for bouldering. Kind of a, I guess a shorter, shorter version of rock climbing. It, it unfolds. Uh, what I usually do is fold down the seats and throw the crash pad in. Uh, on the soft side and sleep on it. I do have curtains if you can see the fleece there. I put curtains all the way around. I have one for the front too. Uh, that comes in really handy man. That is really nice for if I'm sleeping past when the sun comes up, you know, past 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. 
uh, that fleece will keep the sun out very well so that's cool um, but anyway it's just kind of a little intro about what my channel is about um, just traveling around trying to figure out what I like um, I definitely am enjoying the traveling I definitely miss familiar faces um, you know going out and socializing with people going out to eat with people uh, good food good food is not hard to find out here it's just everything's different you know I have restaurants that I'm used to back east in Georgia and they don't have a lot of them out here but they do have other ones that are very comparable to that um, and I'm just kinda you know finding out what I like and don't like uh, have met some really cool people along the way I've been traveling for five, about five weeks well actually about six weeks now and uh, I probably have you know 15 really good friends now that I could easily call on and go back and stay with them for for another week no problem um, so anyway there'll be more videos to come uh, I'm gonna try to do kind of a mix of travel videos and gear videos and maybe activity videos and stuff like that I've got a lot of video from uh, from the Grand Canyon some pictures too pictures and videos from Zion National Park from uh, South Lake Tahoe a few from Greeley Hill so I'll put all those together in one video one day and uh, try to make that one big collage of what I've done up to today and uh, I have a Canon XTI uh, 400D um, I'm probably gonna I'm definitely gonna sell it it's actually on Craigslist right now I'm trying to get $400 for that the kit lens and I have a flip side 200 uh, backpack for it uh, it's just too big to tote around um, one of my goals in the near future is to take this backpack and just that backpack alone and live out of it in the Florida Keys or Bahamas uh, somewhere down in that area uh, for a little bit at least for the summer season and see how that goes so I'm really looking at selling that uh, the SLR and getting a small point and shoot that'll do just fine plus it'll take good video um, and it'll be a lot easier to tote so I'm definitely gonna have more videos that are not so collaborative but more specific on each area and I'll try to do a better uh, I guess a better job of you know this part of town is cool this part of town is not cool this is expensive or this is how you get around you know kind of give you a better idea of, of uh, what you can expect if you were to go there as opposed to just my personal experience and what I enjoyed so anyway look forward to uh, some videos in the future and if you guys have questions just uh, post them down there and don't forget to subscribe peace